I'm sure you've been in a meeting recently where somebody tries to share PowerPoint and they end up going, can you see my slides? And you know, they're not really sure what they're presenting. Well, with this new presenter mode within Microsoft Teams, I think we can eliminate some of that and give a really great experience for sharing PowerPoints with anyone in your meeting. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Harry Lauter. I'm a technology strategist for Microsoft. And the goal of this channel is to really help you learn technology and hopefully share something that's going to help you and your organization. So not too much idle chit chat here. Let's go ahead and dive into Microsoft Teams and look at how this new presenter mode can hopefully help you be a pro when it comes to presenting PowerPoints. All right, so we're now in a meeting with Megan and Alex and we're introducing Harper, our new team member. So with this, all we've got to do to get into this new presenter mode is go to the top right and then we've got to do share content. And then from there, we get a familiar looking experience here. We can see desktops on the left. We can see all the windows that we have open. And then on the right hand side, we've got this PowerPoint section. So I could just choose this PowerPoint that's already there, but I'm going to browse to a new file. So let's just do browse. And then you could do from OneDrive or from your computer as well. I'm going to choose upload from my computer and then choose this Harper Puff PowerPoint. And once we open this, what this is now going to do is upload this to OneDrive and then display it to all the attendees. And once that is loaded, you can now see that we're in this presenter mode. So on the left hand side here in the red box, we've got what's live, what's being shown to all the attendees within this meeting. Then below that, we can see all the different slides. So these are all the slides within this PowerPoint. So you can easily navigate you know, forwards or backwards if you need to. And on the right hand side, which is new and awesome, is that we've now got all the notes that were in that PowerPoint. So if you're running a PowerPoint from like one computer screen, for example, you can now easily run this PowerPoint without not being able to see what your notes are, which you, know, you might find difficult if you're presenting some quite complex topics, for example. So we can now see that Harper can introduce herself. She knows the talking point she's got and can easily navigate between the slides. Can either just click on this live box go to the top and navigate forward or choose a slide from the bottom as well. So this is a really nice new experience. What we can also see is that on the bottom here, you can see all the attendees as well. So if anyone's on video, you'll be able to see their reactions and you'll be able to see how your presentation is going. But you can also interact with all the features that were in Teams within a meeting. You know, now that everything can be done in one screen, for example, you could see participants within your meeting. So if you're doing kind of a, a roll call or seeing who's within that meeting, you can do that as well. You can also hit all the emoticons. You can go ahead and go to the chat, for example. So. All these things can be done straight within here. So this is really exciting. So let's go ahead and look at it from an attendee point of view. So we're now here looking at it from Alex and you can see that all Alex can see is the PowerPoint being displayed. And of course, all the other attendees down the bottom there as well, but he can't see the notes. What Alex can also do within presenter mode, which you can't do if somebody's just sharing their screen, for example, is you can see on the left-hand side, Alex can actually flick through some of the PowerPoint slides or go back, see what's happening, or even take control of the slide. So, you know, if you're in a, a presentation where somebody's got to do a few slides and then somebody else has to do a few more, they could take control, run their part of the presentation, and then hand it back to the presenter. And that is really, really helpful. You might be thinking, well, you know, I don't want people flicking through the slides. Maybe something important is coming up, but you need to walk through it and give context. Well, let's go back to the presenter a moment. So we're now back on the presenter. And what we can do here from the top is you can see this little eye icon here. If we click that, that now prevents all of the attendees from moving the slides backwards and forwards. So of course, I can continue to move them forward and see all the notes that I have. But if we went back to Alex, you can now see that the sharer has disabled the private viewing. So you can't move through the presentation anymore. And really that's all I wanted to show you, this new presenter mode, how you can successfully run PowerPoints like a pro, whether you're on one screen, two screens, 
you know, straight from Microsoft Teams, you can really deliver a great presentation. Of course, there are a few things that you could do in PowerPoint presenter mode, which you can't do in here right now. For example, you know, the, uh, the laser pen, but you know, we're gonna see continued development to this. I'm excited to see what the, the product team actually build within this presenter mode. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you run some really awesome PowerPoints straight from Microsoft Teams. So make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another video.